everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a different Killing Floor video. I've been asked to make a video about the different safe locations, slash camping locations, slash classes that work well on each map, and I figured I'd condense that all into this one video. So I'm going to be going through each of the uh, standard maps in the game and showing you where the best places are, at least in my opinion. So, maps like Biolabs, The Descent, and uh, Nightmare will not be shown on this video because it's kind of random as to which board you get. The only two boards that are always going to be the same are the very starting level and the very ending level. And those are kind of straightforward. Also, all those maps are really tiny, so your group is going to be pretty much held up. And the way that you usually play that is hold into one area and then try to spread out and just kind of loop back to one another if uh, need be. All right, so starting out on airship, usually you start around this area, which is the main area. And this place by itself is actually a pretty good place to hold up if uh, your team wants to hold up generally around this piano area and on these stairs. You can do that pretty easily. That's not a bad place to stay because uh, you have potentially three exits. You have one to the right, one to the left. Uh, my, don't mind me, I did that backwards. And one behind you guys that you guys could potentially leave from. You also have doors that you could weld up here. If you're going to weld up doors, either weld all of them up or only weld one of them up. The other best place to sun on an airship is probably right out here. You can spread your team out uh, along this deck. And this way Zeds can come from... Uh, either of these front facing directions, either from below or from above, or they can come from these two back facing directions. Either way, these back facing directions are going to be your escapes because they are wide enough for Zeds not to be able to body block you easily, and you can run to this other section of the deck so that you guys can loop around. The rest of the ship I wouldn't consider way great to be sitting on. Sometimes I've tried sitting in this area with teammates, but there's just a few too many areas that they could come from, so I don't really care for it. Um, I would definitely not recommend um, sitting in the lower parts or this section right here. This section might seem decent because you have two escapes and they have to be funneled in here, but if you start getting flooded in, your only real option is to climb down these stairs and then try to run through this bottom section, which this can be closed off or you could potentially get caught in it and get burned. And this section could also potentially hurt you if you're standing on it too long. Uh, it also doesn't really loop to anything else that's handy except for another way up where enemies could come from or back to the reactors which is also not a good place to be. Alright, up next we have Ashwood Asylum. Uh, Ashwood Asylum is one of the larger maps and it has some decent loops. Right out here in the front, which is a common place to start, is not a terrible option to be holding out in. I've seen teammates that want to hold out in this general section or hold out over here by the fountain. Both these are okay. There's plenty of entrances where Zeds can come in, but it's a nice big open area so you can see everything pretty easily. It also has multiple escapes. You can go inside the building, go up the stairs and inside the building, go through the uh, connecting buildings here, or go all the way to this far end and go inside. Now inside there's not really any great places to hold out in, uh, at least in here. There are a few decent ones. This area in particular with the uh, the autopsy or surgical room or whatever this is supposed to be is not bad because like, once again it is fairly open and there are multiple escapes. So you do have options but you do kind of have to play aggressive in here if you want to stay in here. A common place that I've seen people try to survive is right here. Which might seem like a tempting option, but I don't think it's really one of the best ones. There's this large hole in the ceiling where enemies can drop down. There's also this way where enemies can come in. And enemies can also come up through those stairs and through that hallway to come and get you. Uh, you do have an exit here though, which I think is one of the most tempting things, but it's a one-way drop. And keep in mind enemies will be coming up these stairs to get you. So if there is any enemies down here, they will immediately turn and try to attack you falling down from there. That's why I don't think it's that great. And then the last area I'd say is good on Ashwood Asylum is this whole middle section right here. As soon as you come inside the building uh, from the entranceway, you will see all these uh, computers here as well as all this equipment here. And up these stairs, if your team wishes to stand up around here or uh, on that side or on this other side, maybe I should get a gun out to point, that side or this side, those are all pretty good places to stay. As you can see, this is a big room that loops back around, and there are ways to fall down so that enemies can't get you. You can have somebody holding this area here and watching if any enemies are coming from either of these three ways. 
and use this as a choke point to kill him if you're playing somebody like firebug demo medic anybody like that you could also be sitting right here if you're playing sharpshooter and be picking people off from underneath the stairs as well as coming through that door or coming through this other door and you have a way to hop down here if need be you can also hang out over here on this side be shooting down at enemies from here enemies have to take a long way around or they have to come through this uh kind of choke point right here you can sort of set up traps and burn stuff or you know put meta grenades here it kind of works all right up next we have the biotics lab here's a common place to start a lot of people like to sit here and this is probably one of the worst places to sit i understand why people want to sit here because it seems like a good idea but since enemies can fall off these top areas it it really doesn't help you if a flesh pound or a strike falls pretty much right on your head that can be game over pretty fast um, I've also seen people try to sit in this area here, which I don't know why. I guess it's because it's funneled to where they can only come two what? directions. Or I guess three directions. Four directions if you count that. But they usually don't go through there, I don't think. This is not a good place to stand either. This is way too enclosed. Enemies can easily rush you. And if you do get rushed, then you are just going to need somebody, either a berserker, a uh, survivalist, or like a firebug to push out. There is one main area that I would say is really good in Biotics Lab, and that's up here to the right, which is the processing unit. Here in processing is probably the best place to stand, even though this place this isn't way great either. Nice. Enemies can come through this hallway, which is really good if you want to be like support and fire a shotgun down there. They can come from over here and then come down the stairs to you. If you're standing under the stairs, you'll be all right if you're standing up here you can also be all right but enemies can swarm through here and through there so there's quite a few places enemies can swarm but you can jump down from here if need be you won't take that much damage and you can loop back up around through this building kind of since there is a potential fall off here if you want to jump it uh, you can't break any of this glass so you do have to go around and at least come off the edge that way if you would like to you can also kind of loop through here but i wouldn't recommend it it's much too nice. narrow or if there's multiple zeds they can body block you and you can kind of loop back around through here like i said this is probably the best area in biotics lab but it's still not great all right up next we have uh black forest and we started here by the cave this is sometimes a popular place for people to sit it depends if it's working right there have been times where this just doesn't work out very well at all um, but this cave does only have two entrances, which also means it only has two exits. Although I believe enemies can fall down from the ceiling, or at least they could at one point. Uh, which made this much less of a promising starting place. Maybe they can't anymore. It doesn't look like they can, because I think they used to be able to fall through there, and it might have just been a glitch. So this is one place that you can stand. There is quite a lot of rocks here, though. And you can get stuck on them, so be careful about that. There is another holdout location right over here at the front of these train tracks. If you follow them to the front part of the train or back part of the train and stand up here, this is quite a good place for your team to hold out because enemies have to come up through here and you do have multiple ways to fall down. You can fall down there or you can fall all the way down, potentially all the way down here, which will hurt you. You have to be careful about that, especially if Flesh Pound punches you off there. And there is one other good location here if you want to play this solo. It doesn't really work as well in multiplayer, but it's standing right here. You stand right here on the uh, water wheel. Enemies have to come up through here. And you do have an escape by just falling down there. Enemies likely won't be spawning in over there, so you will pretty much get a free escape from here. Enemies can't come up this way or they can drop down that way. You can still get shot from up here though, so um, husks and EDR blasters can still shoot you here. For how large Black Forest is, it's really not a great place for a lot of holding out. Alright, up next we have Burning Paris. Burning Paris has a few pretty good places to stand, this being one of them, which you can see the Eiffel Tower at the back and this police uh, blockade here. This is not a bad place to be, although enemies can spawn from your left. Uh, from back behind this area, but they take some time. They can come out of the manhole right there as that pig is showing us. Uh, they can also come from down here in the subway as well as up here off these ramps. There's a lot of ways that they can come, but there is a couple ways you can loop back through here, uh, specifically through this building the way that I just did. Your team can also loop up and around this way. Which is usually the easier way to run, uh, even though this is a choke point right here and is kind of dangerous 
a lot of the time. <laughs> I have seen people try to hold up in this building too. It usually doesn't end that well because there's so many ways in and only a few ways out. Enemies can spawn from below, they can spawn from the sides, they can come in through this doorway or this doorway. And those two are about your only escapes besides that doorway, but everybody forgets about that doorway, so... <laughs> it's usually just these two. And then you guys can hold out over here, too, by the movie theater. If you hang out over here, enemies have to run up and around through the subway tunnels to get up over to here, come down from these parked cars, or come from this cafe. They can also potentially come from up here, and I believe that there's a, yeah, like a manhole cover they can come from. But if you stay back next to the cinema, the two main ways that they're going to come are through this alleyway and through that alleyway. And then everything else will be much easier to deal with. So it's not too bad to sit there. You can also potentially sit over here a little bit. Um, this area can kind of work, although there is enemies that spawn here, enemies that can fall down the building, and enemies that are going to be coming through the cafe to you. So it's not the best place to be standing, but it is a place that you can go, and there is a couple escapes. You can go up and around here and try to loop them as you either go back or go forward through this building or through this alleyway. Both of these are pretty sketchy. You can get killed here too pretty easily. Uh, simply because enemies can fall from there and can come through there. And if you have a bloat or a scrake or anything body blocking you here, you're probably not getting through. That's usually the way that I also loop around this map is hanging out here, going through there, going through that building, coming back around the street and coming through that alleyway. That gives me a pretty wide loop back to here, and I can usually get back to the team that way. Alright, up next we got Catacombs, everybody's favorite map. And this map is probably one of the hardest maps in the game because it is so enclosed, and there really isn't that many good places to stand. I'll show you a couple of them right here as one inside the sewer. Even this is not a great place because Zeds can fall down from these pipes. They can come from multiple directions, and the only reason this place is kind of good is that it's sort of wide open. Um, and as you can see, it wasn't very wide open to begin with, but it's more wide open than some of these areas. It can also have multiple escapes, but all these escapes are very dangerous because all of them are very enclosed. Uh, I've seen people try to hold out here. This isn't a great place either because you only have three ways to escape and there's about four ways they can enter or five. I forget if they can spawn from up above. So here's another place that you can kind of get away with sitting at. Um, the problem with this is that you can't cover all the areas very easily because they can spawn in from so many directions here. They can fall through that hole in the ceiling. They can spawn from down below and come up. They can spawn from this other side and come up. They can come out of these vents, so it's not the best, and usually if you're going to stand here, it's best if you hop up on uh, those platforms right there. If you can stay on them, then at least you can fall off one side or the other to potentially get away from enemies. That said, it's still not a great place to stand. Husk can blow you off of there. Uh, enemies can still hit you. Uh, I believe sirens can actually scream at you from down there and still hit you, so it's not a great place. Uh, but it is probably the second best place to stand in this map uh, because it at least loops around in this area. And right over here is probably the best place to stand in this entire area, uh, which is these stairs just outside the main area. Enemies can spawn from this grate right here, which is not great. Let me uh, put on the night vision. Enemies can spawn from that grate. They can spawn from down here. They can spawn from up there. Uh, and they can spawn from anywhere inside here or there to, to start running in. The reason why this place is good though, is that you can stand up on top of these uh, rails, fire down at them, or fire back at these enemies here, and you can kind of loop right here by running into the main room, or by running back down and trying to loop back through all the catacombs. You don't want everybody trying to loop in this map, it's best if uh, everybody can stay still, or as many people can stay still as possible before you need to loop back around. So Catacombs, probably one of the worst because there's not that many good holdout places. It's not a good We're map to loop around in either. Make so it it's difficult whether you're playing multiplayer or playing solo. Next is Containment Station. And this one is probably one of the best maps to have a holdout in with a team. And it's this room. Uh, let me see exactly which room this is. Uh, that's going to Control and this is Maintenance. Maintenance is the best room to be standing in because if you have anybody standing in here, no Zeds can spawn inside this entire room. 
So all you need is one person standing here. It also only has two entrances, that entrance and this entrance, both of which are hallways. And any class that excels at shooting through multiple enemies like uh, survivalist or support, sharpshooter, or gunslinger, can really make these hallways pretty uh, treacherous for the Zeds. On this hallway, as you can see, Zeds can only be spawning from your uh, right and from the center. So you have plenty of time to see them and to shoot them. As well as if you have people standing over here, uh, enemies can only spawn once again from uh, two directions. Directly in front of you or to the left uh, with the door that's coming out there. So this is a great area and enemies and uh, allies can stand in this entire area. No Zed can spawn in here as long as they remember to fall back and run through this door if things start getting bad. You have this entire great big room which is just a huge loop. This is probably one of the easiest maps to have a holdout in. Our next map here is Desolation. Desolation, even though being a rather large map, honestly doesn't have very many good spots to sit. You can sit here next to this uh, container because enemies can come from only two ways and it's fairly wide and open so you can usually run away if need be. Up around here is also okay if you have a team watching this because enemies can fall down right here but I believe it's only small guys that can fall so nothing too scary. You can have more people up here that can be shooting down as well as have an escape here and people potentially covering this where enemies can come through the door as well. That way they have two potential escapes, either that right there or this over here. Your team also can sit down here, which is an okay spot to sit. It's again, not a great one, but it is one that's not bad. Enemies can spawn from up there, they can spawn from up along here, and they can come through this way. There might actually be another spawn this in this corner, let me check real quick. I think there is, but I could be wrong. Yeah, there is another spawn right here. So there is a couple spawns, but there is a couple options for if you need to run away. Um, none of these are fantastic. You could sit right here as well. I have seen people sit in this area and it's worked out all right. Um, again, not the greatest for escapes, but there is a lot of room to see enemies coming and you should be okay here. Honestly, I don't play Desolation a whole lot and there's not really a whole lot of places that I'm aware that are really good places to actually be camping. We are now in Dystopia 2029. This is another map that I'm not all that familiar with, the best places to stand. Um, there is a couple places that I use and some places that I've seen that can work, but not always for the best. Standing out in the open right here at the bottom half is not a terrible idea. And it's usually what I do for the first wave of the map. The most common place that I sit is right here in the middle. This is usually where my team sets up. And this place, again, isn't way great because there's multiple areas where Zeds can spawn. They can come from here, they can come from down there, they can come from the hotel. They can fall down, I believe, right here, or they come out from behind that. I don't remember which it is, and they can come from back there. But you do have a lot of options to run away. You can circle around pretty easily back to here. And that's what makes it a decent-ish spot to sit. Uh, there is another okay spot inside of the hotel that you can sit, but it's not really recommended for later levels. Uh, it's good for early waves, but later waves not so much when Flesh Pounds and Scrake start showing up, and it's at the end of this uh, hallway here. This makes it so Zeds can only spawn in a couple directions from you. They can come from this vent right here. They can come from down there. They can come from this uh, place right here. And that's where like the worst starts to come in is when you start having large Zeds fall in here. You don't have a way great environment to fight in because you can't move around too easily. But uh, if you hug these kind of corners, they're not the worst. Another place that I see people sometimes frequently stay in is this, the bar right here. And this is also pretty good for early waves, not so great for later waves. Enemies can come from this wall that's broken out, this uh, area here, they might be falling down that alleyway or funneling in from this alleyway. And they can come through the back. But if you weld these doors up, it's not too bad. Um, that way you still have, well, I'd recommend welding one of these doors up, particularly this one at the back, because it doesn't seem like big enemies spawn as often back here. So you might be able to kill some small Zeds with it and then wait for it to open up. 
and then still have two exits. I've also sat over here in the park and the park is not a bad area either. There is a couple ways that they can come that you just can't really see. Like they can come from beyond these walls and it's a little bit hard to hit them, especially if they start sitting close to it. But there is only a couple ways they can come and uh, you can escape multiple ways. Like Zeds can't climb up this way, I don't believe, unless they might get bounced or something. They usually don't come up through here. And they can come up through here, but it's not all that common. All right, up next is Evacuation Point. This one also has some decent places to sit. The first one is this big open area out here in the middle. Zeds can come from quite a few directions, uh, falling down from up there, coming out of this main building, coming around the back, coming out of this... Um, I'm not exactly sure what this building is over to my right. Uh, they can come from all these areas, but there is a lot of room to move around. Um, and there's only a few choke points like over there at the bus. You can also circle through this building pretty easily and then come back out to your teammates. The second spot that I like to stand on this map is right up here. Because this way Zeds can only come from the back and from the front. Uh, you also get a chance to shoot Zeds through this chain link fence here. All of this I believe you can shoot through so long as it's not hitting a solid bar. Uh, maybe you can even shoot through these bars. I think you can. Okay, so you can shoot through that. Um, not through this metal as much though. This is an okay spot because you can sit up here on the railing, be shooting enemies, and then you have multiple escapes. You can just simply hop down over here and get away from Zeds. You can also go up back that other way and you're given a couple options. Um, going to the right up there is a little bit more difficult because it is essentially a big choke point there. So that can be kind of bad. You can also have teammates sitting all throughout this area. Because uh, Zeds will spawn there, and they will spawn through these two spots as well that uh, are kind of cut out. open. But these guys can swing around this way and be fairly safe. You can kind of hold up down here, but I wouldn't really recommend it because you don't know what Zeds are coming down from the stairs. And if you have to run up the stairs, the, all the stairs are a choke point. Uh, they're not as bad as some areas, but it can still be kind of nerve-wracking when you're trying to go up all of these you know, just to get into this building so that you can loop back around and drop down. Up next, we got Farmhouse. And Farmhouse has two particularly good spots to sit in. It's actually not bad to loop around this whole front yard because it is so large, uh, if you would like to. This first spot is actually right out here on this balcony, but it does take some prep work. Uh, you want to keep this door open, um, and you want to weld up this door over here. You also want somebody standing over here at all times, that way Zeds can't spawn anywhere here, um, and they're forced to go through that door. The people over here can still help on all the Zeds that are coming in. They can simply break out these windows here, and that way they can shoot in. Zeds are very unlikely to get to that door, but if they are, you can still shoot at them. And these people can still be moving uh, off to the side over here. Or, of course, you can jump off the railing here. The second spot that's uh, pretty well known here on the farmhouse is right here in the barn. And you want to weld up this door. This is best if you have a support who can keep uh, re-welding this door. Uh, it's also best to have a support up there, too. Um, there can be weapons that spawn right here in the back of the truck, which is kind of nice. And you can grab them without having to get in the truck. Uh, and then having teammates set up over just up here on this loft. Only small enemies can spawn from up Last along chance. here, so like crawlers oh, and uh, maybe it's just crawlers that can spawn up here. Maybe stalkers can too. But you can shoot through these windows if there is Zeds out there. And this works as a giant funnel to make Zeds come through this main door. This is really good if you have anybody with big AoE uh, weapons like Firebug or Demo. Our next map is Hellmark Station. And this is a pretty large map as well. This one actually has some pretty decent places to stand in. Um, it's also not that bad to loop around either, so if your team would not like to sit and camp an area, you can move around this area pretty easily. Some of these hallway areas aren't too bad to stand in. Um, I wouldn't recommend standing at like the end of the hallway and just be trying to shoot enemies that way. They can spawn from too many areas and you can get encircled really quick. Out here in this main open area where you have a lot of, uh, well, just this random stuff around here. Uh, it's not a bad option either, because you have this long hallway that enemies can come from. You have an escape right here. Enemies can spawn uh, down below and come up that escalator. They can also spawn behind you, but they spawn quite a ways away. 
So if your team is uh, kind of fanned out right here, it's not bad to be fighting enemies. This area, the opposite of that last area, is also not a bad place to stand because once again, enemies have to come down these long hallways and you can shoot them pretty easily. And you do have an escape down there. You also have multiple no routes that you could run if you need to. And it's not a bad place to circle back to if your teammates get separated. These long stairways can also be okay spots to sit, so long as you're sitting somewhere towards the bottom here. Because if you have teammates down here, they can kind of warn you if there's any enemies. And any enemies spawning up above, you can pretty easily shoot down, especially if you're playing somebody like Sharpshooter. You have a nice long line of sight right there. Um, and this bottom area isn't too bad once again to circle around through. Ah, this is usually the other area that I stand, which is up here. This place, again, isn't necessarily the best, but it's not bad. Um, uh, there's multiple ways that enemies can come up, as you can see, but they do have to come in a straight line to you. And you do have multiple exits, and if things do get really bad, I believe there are certain spots on this that you can jump the railing on. Up next, we got Infernal Realm. And this one, once again, has a few you decent spots um, and some spots that you can kind of make work. The main one that I use is this front room out here, uh, which is the large main room. Um, you can kind of use some of these areas, like I have seen people sit down here. This place is kind of dicey though, because they can come through that side door right there and I think anything can spawn over there. So, you do have long lines of sight here, but uh, it's not a place that I'd really recommend. The main place that I usually stay on Infernal Realm is right out here. Uh, in this main area where you see all the bodies and the gears turning down below. This gives you pretty long lines of sight from everywhere, and enemies can spawn from pretty much every direction. But they do have to do a loop towards you. So you can uh, kind of fan out your team to where you guys can rotate in one direction if needed. Uh, you can sit up here and then there will be enemies spawning from the left and from the right. Over here, enemies will be spawning somewhere behind this area and will be funneling in from both the left and the right. Uh, they can spawn up above on these stairs, again from the left and from the right. Uh, they won't spawn over in this area besides that grate, so it'll only be small guys. And if you have people up here, then you can cover this where they'll likely be spawning from the left and straight on. So somebody can be clearing this up, somebody can be sitting down there trying to clear up that, and somebody can be sitting over there trying to clear up that. That's about the order that I would recommend putting your team in. You don't want to spread them out too far, uh, because if enemies start funneling in through the middle and split up your team... Up next we have Hostile Grounds. Hostile Grounds is pretty much good so long as you're on the uh, ground floor, or I guess uh, second floor? I'm not sure. As long as you're not below ground, it's a pretty decent place to fight. If you're underground, there's not really that many great places to try to fight. That area over there by the pot is probably the best, and even that is pretty uh, touch and go at times. You can actually fight down here at the bottom of the stairs, if your team would like to do that. This is another area where it's like you have long lines of sight. There is only two ways that the enemies can come, so either from above or from below. There's another great place to sit right over here, which is at this uh, skin suit area looking towards the park. This whole area is a pretty good place to sit because enemies will spawn uh, right over these hedges here, but they're not too hard to kill. I don't know if there's any big things I can spawn there. Uh, enemies can spawn from down the road, which you can kill pretty easily, and they can spawn from down the uh, subway but you can have somebody covering the subway and have a pretty good uh, position right there. Another pretty good spot to sit is right back here behind the subway, or behind the uh, entrance to the subway. Right over oh, here in this area, because enemies usually have to come up <laughs> through the subway, or they have to come from one of these two areas over here, uh, or potentially this area right here, or through this alleyway. There is one spot where they can jump down here, but as long as you got somebody covering this, you should be okay. And this is a pretty good place for your team to hold up, and you can also uh, kind of swing around without too much trouble. Up next is Monster Ball. And Monster Ball, I usually sit in one of two areas. The first is this area right here with the fountain. Enemies can spawn from quite a few uh, areas around you, but once again, it's a pretty big area, so you can circle around and you can run inside the castle however you'd like. Uh, usually I try to aim for these stairs over here as uh, it's a more easy way up and right into the castle, I find. There's less areas people can spawn, usually right from here, and then coming through that door. 
but you can just jump down right through here and then you'll be inside the castle and then it's pretty much just a long uh, single lane that you can run all the way through the castle and out towards the main now. area. The next area is just right here on the dance floor and just underneath the dance floor. Enemies can fall down from here but I believe it's only small and some medium enemies I think. But so long as you have this right here, enemies have to be running through here or if you want to sit down lower you can cover this direction and you can cover that front direction as well as you have a couple ways to escape and a large enough area to just kind of walk around the zeds as you make your loops. Next we have nuked. This one is a pretty good map to be looping on and it has quite a few areas that you can actually hold. Down here is not a terrible place to be holding but it's not a great one. Enemies can spawn from pretty much all around you but uh, you can push out these areas fairly easily and then move to a better area. Uh, enemies can also fall down from right up here, so be careful with that. Standing out in front of the building right here is also a great option. There's another area down here that's pretty good to sit at. Uh, this is more close to the trader pod, that one right there. You can shoot enemies that are funneling in from here or funneling in from behind this bus or from inside and uh, over here and throughout this area. If your team sits right about here and kind of fans out, you can still hit enemies from pretty far away. Most people really enjoy nuked because of this, because it's so open that you can see everything. You have a lot of room to move around in and you have this giant loop that loops all the way around. You can kind of sit over here. It's not a bad option. Enemies will spawn in usually from the right of this bus, so they can be a little bit tricky to hit. They can also potentially fall off the building in a couple areas. The last area that I usually sit in on nuked is just this area right over here next to this other trading pod. If you hang out pretty much all throughout this back area of the parking lot, enemies do spawn uh, from this ambulance right here, uh, from these two areas over here, and from the inside of this building as well as they can kind of fall down throughout here. And you can rotate either inside the building or to either side of the building very easily. Up next we got the moon base and this is the brand new map that just got added. I don't know of a whole lot of great places to actually hold out in here. A couple areas that I have held out in when I was streaming is usually these hallways because even though they are just one way in one way out uh, or I guess two ways in two ways out depending on how you look at it, it is a very long narrow uh, hallway that enemies have to be funneled through. I've also sat over here which is at the uh, statue area and this one's kind of okay mostly because you have two large areas that you can loop in and that's one thing about this map is since you have low gravity it's not that hard to be looping enemies around. These big hallways is usually a good place to be kind of setting up camp in because you have such a long line of sight to the enemies and you can run from either direction. All right, up next we got Outpost. Now Outpost has some pretty good spots and one really great spot to sit. Uh, this area right here is actually not a bad spot to sit because enemies are kind of funneled in here. Again, it's another one way or two way in, two way out type of area. So not the best if enemies really start trying to funnel in here. Uh, this area over here is another pretty popular spot that people will sit and it's okay. Um, I honestly don't really care for it all that much. This main area right here because there is so many places where Zeds can come from. They can come from down here, they can come from inside the building, from the uh, site that we just came through. And even though you can run away a lot of in a lot of ways, um, there still is the chance that you're going to get surrounded. You can run up back through here and kind of hang out here because enemies can only really come at you from two ways or I guess three ways they can sort of fall down here and get you. Uh, sitting up here is okay as well for this area but these are not the great the spot. Reminds the great spot is a little bit further down this hill and it is you can either access it from falling there or coming all the way around like I did. It's this whole area right here because where these are enemies can spawn from up there but it's only small enemies uh, otherwise they have to spawn from inside here and if you have people over here I don't believe they can actually spawn right there uh, as long as you have somebody close to this. So this whole area becomes a safe zone then um, around these trucks or vehicles whatever the heck you want to call them some sort of snow craft and uh, enemies will only spawn from up here up there and potentially inside here. 
So it creates a lot of choke points as well as a large uh, safety area for you to run around. All right, up next we got Prison. And Prison, once again, has some decent areas to sit in and one really good area, similar to Outpost. This area right here, I've seen people try to sit in, but it's honestly not that great. Enemies can simply spawn from too many areas and overwhelm you, as well as you're kind of forced to run through choke points. Um, like these cell doors right here, which is just uh, kind of a mess. Yeah, you and your team kind of can sit up in this room right here, which seems to be some sort of hospital or something to the prison. And this way enemies can only come in from two directions and I believe a wall grate or something. So not a terrible place to sit, especially if you have people that have large AOE. Yeah, there it is. There's the wall grate. So again, not a terrible area. You can also sit at the top of this cell block here, leading out to the courtyard. Uh, up along here is not a bad place to be sitting because if you have somebody like a berserker sitting right there, uh, or survivalist or medic, it's very difficult for enemies to be coming up this way close to you guys. And other than that, they have to be coming up these long hallways or these long stairways. And of course you can jump off of this area right here and head outside. Once again, this is a choke point, so this is kind of scary at times, but you can get out that way. And then the best area to sit is right here in this watchtower, pretty much. You can have somebody like a berserker sit right here in this doorway and not let anybody come up there, which is really strong. Uh, there's a little spot where crawlers can spawn. I believe it's falling off of this roof here, so you might deal with a couple crawlers. But you can sit right up here, uh, which is a really good spot if you're playing somebody like Demo or Firebug and just burn or explode this entire middle area right here. Nice. You can also have people sitting down here. Uh, enemies will spawn from that uh, hatch right there. But all throughout this, you can shoot enemies pretty much wherever they come. And the only other areas they can come from are uh, this broken fence here, which usually is just small enemies. Um, this window here, which gives you plenty of time to see them. And this doorway here. You can also weld up this doorway if you'd like. That's not a bad option. I think they can come from that uh, sewer grate too. All right, up next is Sanitarium. And Sanitarium is another really large map that doesn't have very many good places to stand in it. Pretty much this whole area with the uh, maze and the lighthouse over here is not great to be standing at. Enemies can spawn from so many places and it's so easy to get separated throughout here. So I would not recommend any part that's uh, this main front area. I would recommend sitting actually inside the building, which is usually what we don't do on these maps. So the first area I'd recommend is right in here. As soon as you come in the building, these stairs are not a bad place to uh, sit. Enemies can spawn from multiple directions, but you can also escape from multiple directions and you're fairly safe if you hide out up here. You want to have teammates spread all throughout these uh, banisters though. That way you can actually shoot enemies and you can potentially run through this area, which this place can be kind of sketchy as well, but it works most of the time for me. And that's standing right here at this intersection uh, with all the uh, various hands trying to grab you. This kind of forces Zeds to come down one of three ways, really, and have to fight you here. So you do have three escapes. You also have potentially three points of uh, attack here. And those are about the two best places that I've found to fight in Sanitarium. There is kind of one third one. The third area that I would kind of recommend in Sanitarium that you can sort of get away with. You can sit anywhere in these prison cell areas or in this main lower area with the uh, all the weird Cthulhu stuff going on. Enemies will spawn from multiple directions. But you can still kind of get away with this. Um, again, it's not a fantastic area to be sitting in because there is a lot of these pillars that you could potentially get stuck on. There's a lot of potential choke points. Down here is not a terrible option because you can at least loop back around throughout here. Uh, you also get a fantastic view of outside. So there is some upsides to this, but uh, probably wouldn't be my main go-to area. I would say up in the house is my go-to area. Up next we have Shopping Spree, and Shopping Spree I usually don't play all that much anymore. I used to play quite a bit, now I don't. Whenever I did though, I would usually hang out in front of this uh, Irish shop, I believe. And it didn't seem to be going all that bad most of the time. Enemies can fall down from above. Gear can spawn over here by the fountain. You can rotate around this fountain without too much trouble. And uh, you can even rotate to the higher levels. Yeah, another spot that I would sit pretty frequently here uh, 
and shopping spree would be up along here somewhere. Because enemies you can more easily kill if you have teammates standing throughout here. You do have multiple escapes either by hopping off here or just by running that one direction or running the other direction. You can also loop this area with the escalators without too much trouble. And those would usually be the two spots that I would sit at Shopping Spree. Like I said, I haven't played Shopping Spree in a while. I actually forgot that it was a map. All right, up next we have Spillway. And Spillway is another favorite amongst a lot of people. Uh, it is a very good map for beginners. It's also a great map if you just want to rack up a bunch of kills because it has a very nice layout. The one big area that's really great to hold out in is this whole area right here. Uh, from here, enemies have to spawn either from inside this building or down these stairs, come up them. So this whole area up here is safe. As well as if you have teammates sitting over there, they can watch the other one doorway where enemies can spawn in. So this whole big area right here becomes a giant safe zone for your team. You also have multiple escapes from this if you're standing on this side. You can either go up through these pallets right here, you can also kind of shoot from this area at enemies and just drop right down. If you're standing up there, you can drop either side of this. And this has a lot of very nice loops, making it very easy for you to get right back to your teammates over there or just hang out around over here. Um, this is not a bad spot to be sitting either, especially if you intend on regrouping with your team. This area right here also has pallets, so you can be fighting off the enemies that are coming from these ways and loop right back around to your team through here. You can also go around this way, uh, either looping back that way to your teammate or looping through this building here back to your teammates. There's only a few choke points, mostly the doors. Other than that, it's fairly open. Zeds can fall from different weird angles from in here, which can be a little bit uh, annoying. But looping back to your teammates, no problem. If you're standing over here on this end, you can take this trash pile and just climb right up over it, just falling off that ledge, no problem. Or you can come over here, drop down this way, again you won't take any fall damage, and you can loop either back through this area. It's not really best to be sitting inside the factory, but it's not a bad place either. You guys can sit up through here, and then easily run down these stairs or loop back up through here. You can also take these pallets to, once again, just fall right off the railing. These work the same as stairs, same goes with over here if you need to. And this big open area right here is not a bad place to loop either, because you can go up over here, loop back through here, and then just fall right down. You won't take any fall damage, uh, assuming if you fall, I think if you jump you will take fall damage from that. Once again, you can loop all the way around here. This whole map is just a giant uh, area for looping and has some really great places to sit, mainly this uh, one area that you want to keep rotating back to, and sit there as long as you can until Zed start breaking through, or things start looking dire, then start falling off this, start doing your loops, start rotating throughout the factory, and throughout this main area, and you will be fine. Up next we have Steam Fortress, and Steam Fortress again has some really great areas to loop, as well as some really great areas to hold. Right over here in this uh, observation room, or I'm not sure what to call this area. Uh, maybe it's some sort of generator or something. This place is great to sit, because enemies have to come down either these stairs, come up those stairs, um, or come from either this sidewall right there, or somewhere else in the facility. So you can always fall back to this main area, and you can loop down through here. You can also see any enemies coming in through that uh, hallway right there, or I guess a uh, walkway. That way you can even shoot them, so you can shoot them while they're still outside the map. Up here is also not a bad place to be fighting. Uh, just go up from the generator room all the way up the stairs. You can fight at the top of these stairs, although enemies can fall down through here and they can fall down through the back, so it's usually best to sit up over here. That way they can only really fall from here, they can come from over there, and they can potentially come from down here, uh, as well as the way we just came. Either way, you have multiple exits, which is always a good thing. And enemies are more likely to be spawning from either this side or from back here, I found. Not so much from up there. Here at the Tragic Kingdom, we have a couple of good spots to sit. Uh, this main area is not one of them. Uh, Zeds can come from too many ways, and there's not very many great escapes throughout this main tent area. It's best to be outside the tent, I've found. Um, over here by the generator is not a bad choice. Uh, especially since then you can turn on the generator so you have more lights going. We've got customers. Uh, and there's a decent loop to it. You can fan out your team here. And it's okay, but not 
one of the stronger areas. You can also do a similar thing down here in the Tunnel of Love. This is not a bad place to sit because this does have a trap here. Enemies can only come from two directions. Well, kind of. They can also fall down from a couple of these areas or climb out of a grade, I think, around here. So small enemies will be giving you more issues, but you essentially have a big loop here, and if your team wants to spread out in the Tunnel of Love, you can do that. Uh, the Ferris Wheel is also another popular spot to stand, and usually where I stand the most, I believe. Enemies can spawn in between these two uh, booths right over here. You can turn on the Ferris Wheel, but I find that usually causes more harm than good. Uh, it's kind of nice just to have the Ferris Wheel clear, so that way you can use this entire circle as a big loop. You want to have teammates spread out, uh, specifically over here, covering this entrance, where they can come from these two ways and uh, potentially fall down through there and come at you. And then also standing on the opposite end over here. That way you can shoot enemies over throughout here and you want somebody covering these ways as well because enemies will fall down from there and they can cause problems. That's also another reason why you don't want this going because it's likely going to just hurt your teammates more than it's going to help them. You can also stand on the roller coaster tracks here. That's a pretty popular option as well. Um, there is some problems with this if you get large enemies, but for the most part it's okay. You can stand here, enemies can spawn and fall down over on this side of the tracks as well as they can climb up here, but you will be able to shoot down at them no matter where they are. And you also have another escape right here, although this is going to hurt when you fall down. So keep in mind, this area right here will not hurt you. I don't think it will hurt you at all if you just walk off right here. Uh, if you jump off in might, and then you can loop back around this way. So long as you don't stay in the main circus area of the tent, you should be fine everywhere else. Not a bad place to loop. Here at Voltaire Manor, we have a couple different options that we can do. Um, none of them being way great at Voltaire Manor. Voltaire Manor is one of the more difficult ones to hold on. It's one of the more difficult ones to loop on as well. It's just one of the more difficult maps in general. Uh, one of the best areas I've found is just right here. Um, you can just fall off right here and then leave outside or go underground. Enemies will only be spawning from a few areas. Um, that grate right there, through this doorway, those stairs, and this other back doorway. You can kind of weld up that back doorway though and not be dealing with Zeds as much, but you're not going to be able to loop back around. Uh, at least as easy, because you won't have this door accessible if you do decide to weld this up. Um, if somebody's over here covering the stairs or covering this main doorway, they also have a way to fall down and you can jump over the railing here. Down here in the experimentation lab or whatever you want to call this uh, is a pretty good place to sit too. Somebody can sit here and cover this way and you can have people covering this door as well as this hallway back here. And you have multiple escapes that way, so not too bad in here. Alright, then we got our final normal map, which is Zed. Landing here on Zed Landing out here in this open beach area is pretty good because once again It's a very open area. You can loop around it. Zeds have to come from pretty predictable ways They can come from anywhere up here anywhere down there um, through the beach area uh, Potentially off of that area up there and I believe they can come a one or two different ways up over these rocks So be watching of that, but you do have one kind of escape here Again, it's a narrow hallway that kind of curves. It's not the best, but it's all right. Another great spot to sit on Zed Landing is right over here. Uh, if you sit up at this spot, you can be shooting Zeds from multiple angles. Um, your only problem is you're backing up to a cliff. And there is a way to not take damage from falling off this cliff. You kind of have to aim for this bush here and lean into the wall. It's tricky to do, but you can sometimes do it. I think it has to do with getting caught on a rock around there. Um, if you just fall off, you won't be taking too much damage, and it's fairly safe. But you definitely don't want to get punched off of there by, like, a Flesh Pound. So if you see Flesh Pounds coming, it might just be best to bail on that and hop down here and try to loop back around. See, this area over here is also not too bad to be uh, setting up shop and fighting here. If you have teammates up here and teammates sitting down over here, I believe Zeds can only come from two ways then, um, or it might be three ways. They might be able to come down from one of these bushes or something, but they're only small Zeds like crawlers. Uh, it seems like it's just these two areas, though, that enemies are uh, running towards you. So you have plenty of area to fight here. You do have one potential uh, safe spot to fall down, although you will take damage. And you can loop this area back over to 
uh, this cliff right here, which is again another pretty safe area, but you're probably going to take some fall damage if you need to use the cliff itself. All right, so that is all of the places that I know are good spots to hang out in and all the standard maps in Killing Floor that are not counting the holdout maps. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, then be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any videos like this. If you guys would like to help out the channel even further, you can over at my Patreon where you can support the channel for just $1 a month. Uh, you can also go and buy merch. All this is linked down in the description below. I should also say that I do stream every day except for Mondays and Thursdays. Usually Saturdays I'm playing Killing Floor both on Twitch and on YouTube. So feel free to come to the uh, stream. Most of the time it's an open lobby and anybody can hop in if they would like to. Assuming you're on the Steam version because there's no crossplay enabled still. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so very much. I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.